the CCI indicator, also known as the Commodity Channel Index. This is a popular technical analysis tool used by traders to identify potential market trends as well as possible points of trend reversals. Developed by Donald Lambert in 1980, the CCI is designed to measure the relationship between an asset's price and its moving average, helping traders in determining overbought and oversold conditions in the market. While originally developed for commodity trading, the CCI has proven to be a versatile tool that can be applied to various financial markets, including Forex. The CCI measures the difference between an asset's current price and its moving average divided by the mean deviation. A high positive value indicates that the price is significantly above the moving average, suggesting an overbought market condition. On the other hand, a low negative value implies that the price is significantly below the moving average, indicating an oversold market condition. In simple terms, what this basically means is that when the CCI crosses above the 100 mark, that indicates an overbought market, and when the CCI crosses below the minus 100 mark, that indicates an oversold market. Now, to add this indicator to your chart, you just go to trading view and load the one hour time frame of any forex pair or trading security that you like. For me, I'm going to be using the one hour time frame of BTC USD. Next, click on indicators, type in CCI, and select this first option under the technical tab. Next, double click on it to access the settings. Then on the style tab, change the colors of these parameters to whatever you want. For me, I'm going to change the CCI line to yellow, the upper band to red, and the lower band to green, and then click OK. Now, based on the settings of this indicator, you can see that this red horizontal line right here is called the upper band. And this middle line right here is called the middle band and this bottom horizontal line is called the lower band. Now, the way we're going to use this indicator to trade is like this. When the CCI line, this yellow line, goes below the minus 100 level, that would indicate that the market is oversold and so we will be looking to take only long trades. Conversely, when it goes beyond the 100 level, that would indicate that the market is overbought, so we will be looking to take only short trades. However, just like any other indicator, the CCI indicator cannot be used alone. So let's add two more indicators to the chart to make our strategy so much better. On the indicators tab, type in Super Trend Plus and select this one by Electrified. Next, type in Engulfing Candle Indicator, this one by Armanaz. The Supertrend Plus indicator is a modified version of the original Supertrend indicator. The good thing about this indicator in particular is that it also detects pullbacks in the market aside from detecting market trends. In a bullish trend, for example, the Supertrend Plus will be colored green, and during a pullback, it changes its color from green to yellow. In a bearish trend, the Supertrend Plus will be colored red, and during a pullback, it changes the color from red to yellow. Simple, right? The engulfing candle indicator is as simple as the name suggests. Its main purpose is to detect engulfing candle patterns in the market. We're going to be using engulfing candle patterns as our final confirmation signals. Whenever we get a bullish engulfing candle, we're going to enter a long trade. And whenever we get a bearish engulfing candle, we're going to enter a short trade. Now that we have all our indicators set up, the next question is, how do we actually trade using this strategy? Well, I'm going to tell you. But before that, what broker do you guys use to trade? Personally, I use Henko Trade. As you can see here, this is my trading history. I mainly scalp gold. And up here, you can see that it's actually a live account. The reason why I love Henko Trade so much is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is the lowest it can go. And for those of you that love high leverage, guess what? Henko Trade offers up to 500x leverage. And if that's not enough, they're also going to give you a 100% bonus for all your deposits up to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $500. They're going to give you a bonus of $500 so you'll have $1,000 to trade with. 
to access the bonus as well as all the other perks, sign up to Hanko Trade using the link in the video description. Back to the video. To enter a long trade, these are the conditions. First, the super trend plus should be colored green and the price should be trading above it. This indicates a bullish trend. Second, the market should do a pullback because we want to enter our trade just after a pullback. But how do we confirm a pullback? Well, when the super trend plus changes color from green to yellow, like it did right here, this is a pullback. Next, during the pullback, we want the CCI line, this yellow line, to go below this green line of the CCI indicator. This indicates that the market is oversold and therefore a higher probability of an upward move. The fourth condition is that we want the engulfing candles indicator to print an upward arrow indicating the presence of a bullish engulfing candle in the market, like this one. This becomes our signal candle. Lastly, on that signal candle, this candle right here, we want the CCI line, this guy right here, to be above this green horizontal line. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a long trade here. The stop loss is gonna be set below the most recent swing low. And for the take profit, we're gonna set it at 2.5 times the risk for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2.5. We let the trade run and it hits take profit. For short trades, we're just gonna reverse all the conditions. So first, the super trend plus should be colored red and the price should be trading below it. This indicates a bearish trend. Second, the market should do a pullback because we want to enter our short trade just after a pullback. But how do we confirm a pullback in a bearish trend? Well, when the super trend changes color from red to yellow like it did right here, this is a pullback. Next, during the pullback, we want the CCI line, this yellow line right here, to go above this red line of the CCI indicator. This indicates that the market is overbought and therefore a higher probability of a downward move. The fourth condition is that we want the engulfing candles indicator to print a downward arrow indicating the presence of a bearish engulfing candle in the market, like this one. This becomes our signal candle. Lastly, on this very signal candle, we want the CCI line, this guy right here, to be below this red horizontal line. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a short trade here. Just like the long trade, the stop loss for this short trade is gonna be set above the most recent swing high. And for the take profit, we're gonna set it at 2.5 times the risk for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2.5. We let this trade run and it hits take profit. This is just one of the many strategies that you can do using the CCI indicator. The strategy shown in this video is not meant to be traded alone or blindly. Remember to do extensive backtesting and forward testing and customize it by adding things like price action to make this strategy even better. That's been it for this video. Hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.